So far we're doing good. And a musketeer. Oh my god, the musketeer. Musketeer is locked onto my tower. And there goes my Mega Knight. Hey, what's up everyone? Roshan here and back again with another Clash Royale video. Hope you guys are doing great today. So we are taking a look at the Electro Dragon Challenge here. And if you haven't unlocked the card yet, this video is absolutely for you because I'm going to share my quick tips that would help you to reach at least 6 wins to unlock the card. And I'm going to buy all these chest offers to see if I can get the Electro Dragon from those chests and I cannot wait to open them. So yeah, let's get started with the draft battle here and please don't mind the replay. My quick time crashed while recording this battle. Alright, if people tell you that draft challenges are 100% skill based is a lie. It's not true. The real deal here is I would say 50% is skill based and the 50% is based on the luck. And what I mean by luck is the cards that you give and get from your opponent. Surprisingly it works most of the time but sometimes you gotta retry and few times to get the correct matchup with certain card combinations and that's where the 50% skill steps right in between them. So. Let's come to the tips now. Before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that these tips are based on my personal preference, my playstyle. So it helped me and it may help you to reach the 6 wins straight without any loss and maybe one or two loss. Uh, but I'm, I'm sharing my experience to make you guys unlock the card very easily. So you don't have to take everything 100% because sometimes you gotta listen to your inner voice that tells you to pick something that you are better with the card because at the end of the day winning is all matters and whenever there's a new card challenge people obviously suggest you to push the new card to the opponent I mean push the new card to the opponent and take what's already in the game that's what most youtubers out there suggest in almost every draft mode uh, for the new card releases but that's not the case in this one because this Electro Dragon is absolutely insane. If you use it at the right place, at the right time, trust me, it absolutely works the best. And let me stop you right here because if you haven't seen my last video, you should definitely see it because it shows you the true power of the dragon and what cards is mostly weak against. So go ahead and look at it so that you know what troops are better and weak against the Electro Dragon. I'll put the link on the top of the card so that you guys can go directly to that point after watching this video of course okay all right so and if you get an option to pick the Electro Dragon you should definitely not miss that unless you get something better like the Mega Knight or three Musketeers because in this draft mode you obviously gonna face a lot of Dark Prince, Normal Prince the battle ramp and a lot of fast charging troops like the royal hogs that targets directly to the tower so so you need something to destabilize these troops and take down the strong push and that's where the electric dragon comes in very handy to help you along with the zappies too that's if you get the zappies and electric dragon that's a treat if you use it at the right time and most important part after choosing the Electro Dragon is to not use it as a front unit. Now keep that in mind because and again if you watch my previous video you would better know that. Always keep it at a defensive state in the back so that it literally eats out the counter pushes like the bats, the mega minion, goblin gang, blah 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 that your opponent is gonna drop. So don't waste your elixir sending the dragon alone to your opponent tower without any tanks. So let's come to choosing the tanks. Mega Knight is a pretty good choice uh, that's go that goes well, that goes absolutely well with the Electro Dragon. Uh, that is my first choice followed by the three musketeers. Now three musketeers is also very good if you get to choose uh, three musketeer and the fireball in same match then you obviously gonna have a higher chance of winning in that match for sure. It happened to me, I think I 3 crowned that battle before, I don't remember exactly but I think it's 3 crown or 2 crowns, I'm not sure. Anyways, so let's jump straight into a battle here and let me show you how I pick my cards. So I'm taking the battle ram here because it targets the tower directly and we're gonna take the ice golem uh, to counter the prince which I gave it to him there so yeah, Mega Knight is pretty good and the bats, we don't have any air support so I'm taking the bats there. And I gave him the Electro Dragon because that's a hard choice for me. I need a big tank, so I took the uh, uh, Mega Knight. So yeah, and looks like he he almost gave me a pretty good uh, supportive deck here. I mean the cards, the Magic Archer, the Mega Minion, the Musketeer, 
and it looks like he took the three musketeer which is kind of scary because it works pretty solid like i told you before in draft battles uh, especially this one with the electric dragon this is a absolute best deck uh with the uh, three musketeers so i'm not sure how he's gonna play but i'm using my mega knight here to crush the two musketeers and using my ice golem to distract this one musketeer along with my bats so that looks like it works pretty good and come on mega knight you can do this and yeah he got one shot and two shots there pretty nice so far we are doing pretty good here we had uh damage on the two towers right there the left and right and we got only hit by one tower on the right bottom right here so right now we have the battle ram magic archer and musketeer so i'm gonna use my zap here to ha have some damage on the tower also the goblins and using my battle ram here because i don't have the ice golem to distract but that works kind of pretty good there so i'm gonna use my ice golem to tank my musketeer looks like he don't have a fireball so that's a good thing for us so yeah maybe he's holding it or who knows he might ha have one so the guards seems to be working pretty good there and we got the magic archer had a two shots on the tower that's pretty good and look at the electric dragon there it comes behind the night witch that's what i was talking about i always use the electric dragon as a defensive unit do not take uh do not push the uh dragon in front of your troops so he almost got my tower right there that's pretty amazing and kind of scary too so yeah let's see how this goes on so uh, we have the battle ram the ice golem and musketeer along with the uh, mega knight so let's see we have only less than 60 seconds and here drops the mega knight i mean uh the mu three musketeers so this time he's sending the two on the right side so because he knows that i'm gonna drop my mega knight so I'm using the battle ram again to distract the prince and my mega minion is going to take out the uh, uh, musketeer and look at the right side there the mega knight crushed the knight witch along with the tower damage there that's pretty good that's pretty good so far we're doing pretty good here uh, trying to stay uh, away from the uh, uh, trying to make him stay away from my tower there so uh, the electro dragon is trying hard so I'm going to use my musketeer and the battle ram let's go let's go let's go come on okay so he's got the log I think he, I think he took the log uh, giving me the zap so yeah that's good so we both don't have any fireballs or you know the hard uh, spells like that uh, in this battle so that is pretty good now so I'm using my musketeer to take down the witch right there it's pretty good so far we're doing pretty good here uh, the electric dragon is getting uh, hit by my bats that's nice and we also did a pretty good damage there and the musketeer has done some amazing damage there so i'm gonna be using my mega minion to take down the prince and the magic archer is doing amazing job again they're hitting the tower at 840 health right now so we are at the overtime so i'm gonna use my battle ram again with the magic archer to to hit through the uh tower there and um, yes we got it to 744 and we also having the musketeer come on we're not going to let him to use the th uh, three musketeer so i'm saving that uh, mega knight for now i know that he's going to drop it so i'm saving that mega knight for that so yeah and here comes the prince on the left and i have no choice i have to drop my mega knight here because that is so so scary because that the tower health is so low so yeah again he's he knows he knows how to play the electro dragon look at that guys every time when i try to push the battle ram he drops the electro dragon as a defensive unit that's how you play it uh in this draft battle we're gonna see royal hogs we're gonna see a uh, battle ram the prince like uh, like what he's doing right now we need a troop to destabilize uh the charge so that's what he's doing a pretty good job there So right now we are at three, uh, 293 health, uh, yes, yeah, so uh, he's coming with a big push there, so I'm gonna use my Mega Knight on the right, and looks like the gods, okay, I'm gonna crush him, yes, that's good, that's good, that's good, so far we're doing good, and Musketeer, oh my god, the Musketeer, Musketeer is locked onto my tower, and there goes my Mega Knight, amazing, we got this tower, alright, so we got this win there, that's pretty good game there, that's so awesome so that's what i was talking about guys use the uh electro dragon wisely and the mistake he did there is i'm not i'm not blaming him because 
my Mega Knight is so amazing. If he had the Fireball, if he had a Lightning spell, then obviously he's gonna he's gonna win that battle. So he didn't. Uh, we both didn't have that uh, opportunity to. So that left us uh, to directly attack each other without any hard spells there. So I'm gonna take a snapshot here for my uh, Instagram. So that is pretty good. So that's how you unlock the card at easy six wins, guys. I have zero losses as you can see that's how I picked up so the most important tip is that use if you get a Mega Knight go for the Mega Knight Mega Knight is absolutely great with this uh, in this battle challenge and also go for the Golem Golem is also pretty good because it targets the tower directly even the Royal Hogs is good if your opponent picks the Royal Hogs and he you have the Mega Knight that is so awesome you can crush the Royal Hogs with the Mega Knight uh, so that is pretty good all right, so now we have unlocked the card. So we are going to uh, to the shop and see if we can um, upgrade this card. See if we can get the cards in the battle chest. So let's go. We have the uh, special offers in the uh, shop for the electro with the electro uh, wizard emotes. This is so amazing. So I'm gonna go and purchase all these all these uh, chests here. So let's see how it goes and uh, if I'm able to get it to. Uh, a level 9 the tournament standard so we're gonna instead of going for the uh, 12 wins I'm gonna open this up right now and see if I can get it to 12 I mean the level 9 so there we go I love the electro wizard emotes there I think the laugh one is the best but what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below so we have a 630 gold here that's nice oh uh, what happened next okay so we have the snowball mega minion and executioner okay so we can we, we're gonna strike the executioner right there okay clone i don't want the clone goblin barrel oh man i need the goblin barrel so i'm gonna keep that and see and make a knight okay knight okay uh, i don't want that so barbarians all right so that's that's that pretty good one so uh 630 again wow we have a lot of chests there right have you seen that I think we have like eight chests. I didn't notice that we have eight chests, so that's pretty good. Uh, we're gonna definitely find some electro dragon, I think. So let's see, barbarian barrel. No, I don't want that. Giant skeleton. No, I don't want that. Cannon card. Nope. Let's crush it. Oh my goodness, that's a clone. I don't want a clone. Why you guys keep giving me the clones? I don't even use that. Royal recruits. Okay, barbarian hut. Uh, bowler okay I don't want the bowler I'm looking out for the electro dragon please super slow give me some electro dragons I just unlocked it this is not fair it's a 1600 Indian rupees so please give me something uh, valuable clone again not not fair you guys are breaking my heart here right now goblin giant okay so I need the goblin giant but I'm not gonna take it and yes we got the electro dragon two electro dragons first time so I'm gonna use my strikes on the other one here uh let's go for the arrows nope i'm not gonna for the arrows uh bats uh nope mini horde uh okay I, I should have gone for the bats anyways let's open the other one here okay gold again ice spirits okay fireball i'll use the fireball and the witch okay so i need the witch but uh i'm sorry this time no bowler sorry scar me no can card now please Give me, oh man, give me the, oh no, mirror again. Alright, so let's see what, what are the things we're getting here. E-barbs, no way, get off. Alright, let's do this again. Please give me the electro dragon. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I would be so pissed off if they give me a clone one once more again. No, okay, so I will take the goblin gen because we don't have any choice. I'm pretty happy with that chest anyways So again the barbarian barrel no Not at all Goblin giant no, sorry not this time. Yes, we got the electro dragon again So this this is the second time we are getting the electro dragon. So total four cards has been uh, taken from this chest uh, on total eight chest So we have the last one here Let's see how it goes Let's hope for the best. Come on, Goblin Gang. Okay. Bomb Tower. Okay. Dark Prince. I need the Dark Prince, but not this time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Please. Uh, 
Pekka. No. No, Pekka. Oh, man. You guys are giving me all the good cards at the bad timing. I need all these cards. The goal and the Pekka. No way. No way. I ended up with Barbarian Barrel on that chest. And wait a minute. We don't have any graphics though. Usually when you uh, finish a purchase, we kind of get a, a graphic art here. But it's not. It just says uh, 8 times x8 and nothing else. I don't know why is that. What happened? What happened Supercell? You should have done something there. Anyways, I'm going to use these emotes here. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm going to replace my Goblin Amaze emote with... Uh, let's go for... Let's go for... Yeah, that, that one. Okay, I'll replace that one. And here is my new deck. New emote deck is ready. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Let's go. Uh, we don't, I still have to unlock a lot in, in this in my second account. So, I will be doing that. So, yeah. We're going to go for the next purchase here. We're getting two times value with 100 gems and 1000 gold along with the lightning chest. So let's see if we can get a electro dragon from this one. I hope I hope they give me something valuable. Let's see. It's taking some time to uh, finish up the purchase, I think. I don't know why it's taking so time. All right, so we have done that. And uh, again, 630 gold, fire spirits. Bomb tower again. Come on. Poison, wow. Wow, I'm sorry, poison. Oh, balloon, no. Not this time. Witch again, no. Please give me the electro dragon. Electro dragon, please. What in the world is this? What? What's wrong with you guys? Why you guys are giving me the clone? Uh, is this chest rigged or something? Because, it, because every chest I open in this offer is definitely having a clone in there. We look at that. Okay, so it's it's having an art behind this offer here. So let's open the second one. <clears throat> so I'm getting the gold again, the same amount of gold, same amount of uh, okay. So arrows. Okay, I'll use that. Mega minion. Okay. Come on, please, Electro Dragon. X bow. Okay. Okay. Let's let's uh, break it. Nope. Nope. Please, Electro Dragon. Electro Dragon, one more strike. Shout out to Adam right there. Anyway, so we are back again. Uh, we're gonna finish up with the last offer. I hope, I was, please, Supercell. I've been, I'm so exhausted today. So please help me with a Electro Dragon. I wanted to make it to the tournament standard, or else I have to go back again and buy all your chest offers until I max it out. So let's see, 630 gold again. Royal Recruits. I don't even use the Royal Recruits in Elixir Pump. Strike again. Definitely a clone. And I'm, I'm sure that you're gonna you're gonna give me a clone there. You're gonna give me a clone there. Okay, balloon. Okay, I'll take the balloon. Oh, we have four. We have a lot of chests in this offer. That's pretty nice. Again, the bomber. Uh, Mega Minion guards. Okay, let's break the let's break the guards. Poison. Okay. Strike again. Whew. Come on, balloon. Goblin giant again. Okay, so that is pretty sick. That is pretty sick. No electro dragons. I ended up with a cannon card. Man, this is. I think this is the one of the worst purchases I ever made in Clash Royale. <laughs> so back again with another chest. Battle ram and dark prince. So strike it again. Pekka. Mm, no, 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 no. We have two strikes left. And last one, please help me. I hate I, I missed I mistapped on that one. So let's see in this one. This is the last chest. This is the last chest. Please, Supercell, help me something with the Electro Dragon. Goblin Giant. No way. Please. Nose clone. Please don't give me a clone. Don't give me a clone. Don't give me a clone, please. I hate you. Whew. So, we are done with all the offers. And so far, how many um, how many Electro Dragons we got it? So far, I think I think four, right? Two times we got the Electro Dragon into two. So that's four cards, four Electro Dragons. So, yeah, let's see how that one goes. I'm going to buy this one too. So let's see how uh, if we have any uh, cards in this one. 
4,000. And let's go with the uh, Battle Ram. I'll take the Battle Ram. Uh, barbarians for sure. Because I'm not going to use the uh, Royal Recruit. So I'll take the Barbarians. And Goblin Gang for sure. Uh, I'm trying to level it up to level 12. And Balloon. I'll take the Balloon. So here are the... It's a tough one. I don't use any of these. So which one should I go for? Hmm. Okay, I'll take the pump. And we also have a legendary because it's a legendary chest. So I'll go with the goblin gang here, obviously. We all got to upgrade that one to max uh, to uh, avoid the zap. And wow, lumberjack. Okay, I'll take the uh, hmm, heist wizard because I can uh, level it up to level 10 now. So no Electro Dragon in this chest, that's kind of a disappointment. But anyways, we have done all the offers, we have opened all the chests guys. There's no other chest in this uh, shop offers today, so all of them done. Even the Fortune chest doesn't have the Electro Dragon, so we gotta wait for that I think. Um, yep, no choice, no uh, no chest uh, with the Electro Dragon, I'm not sure. I, I'm not, I would love to buy the uh, another Lightning chest, but uh, I'm not sure if they would be giving me a uh, clone spill again, so I don't wanna take that risk. But anyways, um, should I go for it? Should I open it? Let me know guys in the comments down below and I will be doing that. So yeah, we have done 6 wins and unlocked the card at 20 wins. Uh, we are going to take uh, 20 cards of the Electric Dragon so that will help me to uh, level up. And we are also getting 2 tokens, epic tokens so that will help me also uh, to request um, my clan. So yeah, I'm gonna proceed uh, to 12 wins and I will keep you guys posted on that. But if you guys haven't unlocked this card yet, uh, go ahead and follow these steps which I told you earlier. So that will help you guys. Always pick the Electro Dragon if you guys have the choice. Go for the Electro Dragon. These cards are very powerful in this battle. Uh, the Royal Hogs is absolutely amazing. I've, I've done like two wins easily with the Royal Hogs. They couldn't stop the Royal Hogs. And that's kind of helped pretty much. So yeah, uh, Mega Knight, uh, Royal Hogs. Um, Magic Archer is also good for the Air Serpent, go for the Mega Minion, Mega Minion is absolutely cool, uh, it takes down the uh, Electro Dragon if in case if uh, the opponent picks up the Electro Dragon. So yeah, don't stress it too much, if you are going, going to lose continuously, uh, take a breath, uh, I would say that uh, go ahead, win a battle and take a break and then try again after a few minutes. Don't go right away to the next one because that will make you stress even more and uh, makes you concentrate less so I would say catch some fresh air and then come back again to the battle that will help you guys that's how I do it so uh, just sharing these thoughts with you guys uh, to help you guys get the six wins to unlock the card pretty easily pretty fast uh, no need to go for the 12 wins to take the 20 cards you can you can do the six wins and take the card and go for the epic uh, get the epic tokens if you have and uh, so request on the clan chat like I did here. So yeah That's it for this video guys. I hope you guys unlocked it Let me know how far you guys gone through what level you guys upgraded the card so far Let me know in the comments down below and I will be reading every single comments of your guys So yeah, that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I hope this video was very helpful for you guys to uh, Continue on this challenge Go ahead, good luck, all the best, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Until then, this is Roshan signing off, and you guys have a great weekend. Enjoy with your family, and have some great fun playing Clash Royale, and I will catch you guys pretty soon. Cheers.